okay guys let's start this tutorial by downloading Ubuntu free you can find this asset on asset store it's provided by exit games so I've already downloaded it before I'm just going to update it okay it might take a while the assets this should remote import all the assets in our project so Once you're done importing the assets, this pun setup should pop up. So we we need to provide our email address with which we made an account on Photon. So this is my email address that I used. So I'm going to copy and paste it over here. Set a project. It's asking for our app ID because it's already been this account has already been created with the app ID so let's set it up connection settings can be edited in the full transfer settings okay so over here if we'll see in the settings yes it provided our app ID in real time so we are all ready to use the real time uh, real time connections of photon that's all you need to do to get started with photon so once you're done with it in our scenes let's name this all uh, menu we will be having two scenes one is going to be our menu and the other one is going to be our game so in the menu let's start by creating a canvas or just a button so if we'll create a button the canvas should create itself should be created itself by unity let's name it the play button play okay it's looking good so now let's create a empty object that will hold all our scripts that we will need in our menu we'll only be making one script for our menu which will connect all the players to the server Let's open our script in Visual Studios. So we'll be using photon dot pun and photon dot real time. Let's change mono behavior to mono behavior to pun callbacks. Okay. Let's make a public function that our button will play button will hold. Start. We'll have to set photon networks. Okay, photon. Net oh my god. Photon network dot automatically sync scene equals to two. So this should sync all the players. 
in the play before we do anything in the play button let's override so we have been provided by provided with some functions by photon such as we just have to override those functions let's find on connected to master we'll be using this let's say public override and on join on join random field we'll be using this one so the override functions the functions that we override are already being declared by photon we are just giving some extra steps that these functions will be doing let's override on join room okay so these are all the functions that we'll be using right now Let's start by making a bool. What is connecting is going to tell us is that we have already pressed the play button and we are connecting right now to the room to a, a multiplayer room. So if is connecting put on network one join random room one join random room does is it picks a random room and connects the players. So these all these things are pretty much understandable just by their names. So in our join random room field because let's say there are no rooms right now so we won't be connecting to any room so what we would do is we'll be creating a no new room but create room in our create room function we'll have to give some details let's see yeah we can provide a room name which let's let's say null for right now so other things we can provide a uh, room options yeah that's that's what i was finding max players so this is said how many players can join connect to a single room let's say two for now you can make a room of as many people as you want to and this connected let's say is connecting equals false Down network. So the load level thing is same as Unity Scene Manager, where we do Scene Manager dot load scene one. So when we are giving the value one, we are trying to say is that uh, let me show you in the build settings uh, this is our room uh, with the index 0 our menu uh, scene is 0 so we'll be making another we'll be adding the game scene and when we'll connect with the room we load this uh, load this level so that's what all we are doing so this is this is good this is pretty much good Another thing we need to do is we want that player should connect or try to connect when he taps this button. So if photon network dot is connected, say photon network dot 
and so on in garden room okay in the this function so if we try to join the random room we'll only try to join the random room if photon network is connected otherwise we'll be connected using settings so before we are done we need to do one more thing we have to provide these settings there should be some settings so photon network dot game version equals to one so okay one second i think it should be a string yes uh, uh, what we are saying here is let's say you uh, make an update of your game and at that time you can change the game version to two so photon will be checking if the both the game versions are same only then they'll be joining that room so that's all we need to do right now in our menu script this is okay we are doing false all right okay, let's let's save our scenes and in the play button play buttons on click function let's let's give it the what was the function's name play button okay so let's find the play button function okay so this should connect us to the second scene which we'll be start building now our game scene so let's open our game scene now and in our game scene we would want that when a player joins uh, we instantiate the player prefab before that let's make some basics of this is going to be our ground okay this looks good enough let's create an object a cube for now which is going to be our player let's make a material let's give it a different material so we can differentiate between our player and our ground so let's say player let's drag this to a cube right so in our player we need few things before starting those things are going to be photon view and photon transform view so in the transform view you can see we are synchronizing position and rotation if you're also changing the scale in your game you can activate the scale uh, scale too so it will record the scale as well so in our photon view let's provide this component so it records our transform and synchro records our position and synchronizes it to the other players so let's make a player script get an add <coughs> let's open the script we'll also be needing a uh, an object that will instantiate this player when when a player connects to the room so let's call it game manager instantiate player so a player is going to be just a second okay so a player will be a prefab so 
for photon to instantiate a prefab we need to put so say so yeah so we need to put the player pre, uh, player game object under the resources folder only then photon can instantiate that object so in the game manager let's open the script as well this is going to instantiate our player and this is going to be our player script so the basic things that we did before photon.pun and photon.realtime instantiate player script let's do photon network okay for photon network to work we need to call get callbacks from photon pun so oh okay i didn't i'm not using the namespace right now so that's why i couldn't find it photon dot pun and photon dot real time Mono behavior pun callbacks, and in our script, what we'll be doing is instantiating our player. So let's do photon network dot instantiate. It should be okay. Instantiate. If you'll see, it's asking for a string prefab name. So our prefab name right now is player. Let's double check it. So yeah, it's player. Next thing, we'll have to provide it a position. So let's do new. Uh, new vector three. Let's give it some position and y. So when it when the play starts, it's it starts above the ground. Quotidian dot identity. What quotidian dot identity says is, we'll be instanti instantiating the player with its uh, default rotation. So right now, our default rotation would be zero zero zero. Okay, that's that's all I guess we need to do in our instantiate player script. So let's get to a player script. Okay, 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 okay. Just, just one sec. So, first thing we are going to check is if photon view. So, photon view dot is mine. What this does is it checks if the player's photon view is ours only then it will uh, call call the following functions in the if statement we can also do if it's not us and we can just say return so it won't call the fu any functions under it for now this should be good enough uh, in for, uh, let's give basic uh, controls to our player let's start by let's say transform translate input dot get access horizontal let's not transform in y axis so let's say zero and input dot get access Vertical. Uh, I forgot to make it a string. Uh, okay, this should be good enough. We are just testing a multiplayer right now. As it's just a part one of our tutorial, let's see if it's if it would work 
and it would uh, do the basic translation and position with these basic controls but before we get started this another thing we need to do let's say public static game object local player so in a instantiate script let's check if just because we made a static function we can uh, we can uh, see we can check without giving a reference to our player so just say player script dot local player not equals null sorry equals to null only then we'll be instantiating uh, equals to null only then we'll be instantiating our player and in our player script let's say in the start function that this dot start local okay okay local player equals to this dot game object okay this should do it and the uh, and the instantiate function won't be called from other players we are instantiating player we are checking I think most of the work is done so let's just try our script let's apply all these settings in our player and let's delete the player from here and in our menu scene save let's see if we are connecting okay we are connecting to a room this is good but we also need to do one more thing uh, we have to make our player uh, uh, we have to say that our player won't get destroyed so don't destroy on load this dot game object okay so this game object won't be getting destroyed when a new scene will be getting loaded okay i think we are we are ready to test it in multiplayer so let's let's just build this build the game and and and, and. Just let's build and run let's see okay let's save Let's say window, let's play. Yeah, two different scenes. Let's see if we are connect connecting. Okay, our one scene is connected. Let's see. okay so we are connecting over here as well over here so everything seems to be working and as you can see the actions we are doing over here and then here are getting synchronized very well so photon does a pretty good job at making multiplayer games simple that's their tagline too <laughs> so all right let's save our scenes and 
this is just the part one in the second part we'll make more uh, we'll give more functionality to our players let's say shooting and everything let's uh, let's give each uh, each player a different name that we can show on 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 the top of their on the top of the objects